Hello, guys. Welcome back to ILW Pod. I'm your host, uh, Justin Wright. Today, I'm here with um, a young indie star by the name of Leon Cage. How you doing today, man? I'm really good. I'm really good. How are you? Pretty good. What's it? What's it like over there across across the pond? As you guys like to say, absolutely brilliant. To be honest, with you. yeah. <laughs> Scenes on no. fire at the minute as well. So wrestling is very good. Yeah. Uh, what's it like, the, the indie scene over there, man? Very good. Very good. Very lively. A lot of things going on as well. Nice. Nice things happening. I know, you know, recently we've had, you know, uh, a lot of WWE and AEW going over there. Has that made yeah. the indie scene over there hot? Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. much. There's been some big shows with thousands of people as well which is really cool so how many how many matches have you had so far do you know so i'm about i'm coming up to about 150 now okay because i was i was looking online to see and like uh they got like a cage match profile for you yeah yeah and i only it said 92 and i was like it's kind of cool trying to talk to somebody who just you know maybe getting to hone his crap yeah, 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 that's that's spot on to be honest with you. I'm very new, really. About a year in now. That's crazy. So, yeah. like, when did you start your training? So, it's quite a quite a odd story, really, because I did my first session when I was twelve, which is really early. Yeah. But then, like a few weeks in, we had the global pandemic, okay. which shut down everything. So for nearly two years, I didn't train at all. So when I was 15, I I changed like my training schools and that just as I turned 16, getting more experience, getting to a better school, better coaches. And then it just blew off from there. So last May was like my debut for the bigger places, like a bigger scene in general. And then from there, it's just, I've been loving it. It's been brilliant. Have you got to work for anywhere like Rev Pro or anything? So I haven't actually at the minute, but okay. I've spoke to the promoter and stuff. So hopefully something can happen in the future. I'm not too sure, okay. but I am wrestling uh, Michael Oku in less than a month now, which is okay. really cool. I've been trying to get a hold of him to see if he could do one. Um, I'm trying to expand like the podcast and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, you're actually my first guest outside the united states so that's that's class that's yeah. really cool um so like when did you know you wanted to wrestle like when did you know you want to pursue this career so as early as i can remember so when i was two years old i was watching undertaker and Shawn michaels from wrestlemania 25 and i just fell in love with wrestling i just wanted to be a pro wrestler from that early and it's never left me. Forever, I've just wanted to do it. Just crazy, really. So, have you uh, got to win any championships or anything yet, man? Yeah, yeah, I've had, I've had a few now. Uh, okay. I've won, I won a championship for New Wave Wrestling in Wales, and I won the twenty four seven championship for Attack for Wrestling, which is quite a big company as well in the UK. Nice, and I've had nice. others scattered out through independent clubs, which is okay. really cool to be honest with you. That's cool. It's it's cool to see um somebody like you getting, you know, that title recognition even, especially this early in your career. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like 150 matches in and you're already creating moves and stuff. What's that like? In the scene yeah. you're what you've come up with on TV. It was very surreal. Like, when I originally posted the move and it got that massive buzz and it ended up getting, like, overall platforms over a million views, which is crazy. And then when when it all kind of died down for a second, like, not died down, obviously it was still there, but kind of left off, just it happened. And then all of a sudden I checked my phone in the morning and I've got loads of messages from everyone just saying the bucks did you move, bucks did you move, which is so cool to be honest with you because yeah, it's crazy because I've grown up watching them, and like they're one of my favorite tag teams ever. 
to see them do something that I've created in a way. That's that's really cool. It's really nice to see. So like seeing that response and even guys like, you know, Will Osprey even yeah. commenting and saying, you know, giving you props. I'm sure yeah. that had to had to feel good. Oh yeah, I to be honest with you, it blew my mind. Like, I didn't Is think it... Sorry, has any of them guys reached out and like you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Will Osprey's actually reached out to me and just said like, "Keep doing what I'm doing, whatever." And he was just giving me general advice, which is really nice because it, it obviously shows them I'm doing something right in wrestling. And this, it was crazy when I seen the move because I actually just thought, "Damn, no one's no one's ever gonna think of me for this move now. They're gonna think of the Bucks." But actually, it turns out the opposite. And all yeah. thanks to Will, but cool. yeah, it was it was crazy. Well, like I remember, I watched I watched Dynamite that night, and I saw it, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like I just saw this move on Twitter the other day, <laughs> and I was yeah. like, you know, in my head, you know, this business sometimes, you know, uh, imitation can be the sincerest form of flattery. Is uh, yeah, saying we say around like so to to see that and i was like you know i wonder how this kid feels that you know being so young these yeah. guys that i'm sure he's grown up watching are doing what he put together per se yeah and then as yeah. recently as you know yesterday or last last night here uh they did their a new version of it did you did you get to see that yeah i did see i did see it how, how'd you feel about you know tell you, them putting a little twist on it Absolutely no problem. They can crack on with that. Yeah, I, I think it's cool. It's got to be um, a surreal feeling, you know, seeing somebody that you grew up watching doing your yeah. stuff on TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, has it, it is. Has it helped crazy. you, like, booking-wise? Like, getting booked anywhere? Has yes. it helped? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I think so. Like, it's giving me some little bits and bobs here and there. Just from doing that one clip, okay, and especially like people recognizing me more, maybe for like Will sharing it and stuff like that, and actually tagging me in it, like it's helped me out that way. That's really cool, man. Uh, is there is there any? Have you been thinking of like anything else, like move wise, or trying to create anything else? You yeah, know, we already went viral um, once. <laughs> I did one the other day that did well on like Instagram and that, which was like a moonsault off the middle rope, and then they catch me on their shoulder, and then they got to throw me, but I turn all the way around into a normal Hurricane Rana. That was quite cool. Okay. Okay. That was a cool one. Is that on your Instagram? It is. It is. All right. Maybe I'll throw it in here so people can see it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh... You got anything, you know, exciting coming up for us, you know, in the near future? Like, anything you want to plug? Yeah, I mean, that match with Mike Loku is all focused at the minute. And then there's going to be, like, different shows. Like, like over here, we have really big indies, like Pro Wrestling Chaos and stuff like that. Yeah. They're really cool shows. So if you ever wanted to check independent scene over here, I recommend that. And like Rev Pro Progress. Obviously, I'm, I haven't wrestled for them yet, but hopefully in the future I can. But their shows are always unbelievable. And it's somewhere I'd like to hit in the near future. I'm sure somebody, uh, I'm seeing some of your stuff online. I'm sure somebody of your caliber will be there in no time. Hopefully uh, so now. Man, it looks like you're you're busting your ass over there. <laughs> Trying my best. Um, before we go, uh, I usually like to try to end it on a word of advice for viewers. So you got any advice, you know, you're young, you, you've been busting your ass to get to where you're at. Well, you got any advice for the people that might want to be in your shoes? Um, I normally don't like doing advice because I don't feel like I'm in a position to, but I will okay. like just give something that all my coaches have told me. Okay. And that is just like, enjoy wrestling. Like, if you want to enjoy wrestling, you'll enjoy what you're doing and then you'll want to be better at it. Yep. And just never be afraid to go out there and try new things. 
and try something completely different because that's what I did and it worked superbly for me. And worlds, worlds in your hands yeah. every time you have the curtain. That's, I mean, it's good advice. I can't argue. You can't argue with your coaches. They're smart, especially uh, when it comes to this world of wrestling that we all love. Yeah. Um, you want to give a shout out to like any of your socials or anything? Uh, my Instagram and Twitter are both Leon Cage underscore. And you can also check me out on YouTube. There's some free matches up. Uh, just search up Leon Cage and it'll, it'll come up. Got you, got you. Uh, thank you, man, once again. I really appreciate you jumping on here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Maybe uh, maybe soon we can get a part two in. Maybe after that, Mike. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, after that. All right. Sounds good, man. Thank you. You take care. You too, man.